right hello and welcome so this video is going to be slightly different than normal um, I'm here parked in the green machine I've got a Linux computer I've got a disc on on a mag mount on the green machine and I'm parked nearby a city Stoke-on-Trent quite high up and it's like looking down upon Moss Isley almost and what I want to do today is start to introduce some of the Dragon operating system, some of the tools on this free Dragon operating system. Now, the setup here is relatively simple. I've got a RTL SDR um, dongle, they're about 20 odd quid. The Dragon OS operating system is open source, it's free. I've used a laptop that I no longer used. I just downloaded the operating system onto a USB stick, put that into this Windows computer, and then I installed the operating system from the USB stick. So that's installed on this Lenovo. It's a touchscreen as well, so it's quite nice to actually have the touchscreen on this. The disc own, I think I got that for, I think it was about 80 quid. I can't remember the full price. I'll put the link below. It gives me quite a wide, um, wide coverage. So the plan, the plan is, I'm going to look at three, maybe four of the tools that are in the Dragon operating system. Fingers crossed, I'll get some screen recordings, so it's not just me staring at the camera doing the the, you know, the fake hacker thing that's not going to work so I'm hoping to be able to get some screen recordings if not then the video won't go out because there'll be no video to do so let me just spin you around a little bit so this is the setup here so I've got the all powers power pack there and um, charging the battery keeping the battery maintained and this is the Lenovo um, and it's on this that we'll be looking at some other tools on here uh, the views we can see over the city it's got a lovely takeoff here this is a this is a famous dogging spot in the evening it's midday here so we should be okay we won't get any knocks on the door I, I hope not anyway so important things I've got a flask of tea so when you're doing this kind of radio hacking radio playing about malarkey you need flask of tea or coffee and I've brought with me I've got some sushi so tea so and I've got I've got a pork pie as well so I've got a small pork pie sushi and a flask of tea what more do you want right so uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you um, some of the tools where to find them on this operating system and then and then we're going to play one or two of them. So when you, basically a lot of these tools are found in the user source. So if you're familiar with, um, if you're familiar with um, Linux, then you can be able to get around quite easily. There are some excellent YouTube um, the, the, there's a chap that actually runs all of this Dragon operating system. I'll put a link into his uh, YouTube channel below as well. He does some really cool, complex stuff. I'm not going to be doing a lot of that today. But um, So we have got a lot of tools here, a lot of things to play with. It is, this is a radio, radio hackers, radio operators toolkit. So we're going to use the uh, GSM scanner and um, this we're going to look to see if there's any activity on quite an old it's quite an old um, a mobile network whereas we, we got used to 3G 4G and such like this is pre predates a lot of that but there are some people that still use very old phones so we should be able to see some of the activity what we can't see is the actual uh, data or we can't actually um, listen to any of the phone calls because that is actually against the law. What we're doing here is just looking for some of the handshakes and, and that malarkey. So we run the GSM scanner 
and when it finds a frequency which it it's found a frequency here um, and so what I'm going to do now is to just clean this up and I'm now going to use a live monitor um, 935.8 so this should bring up this and then um, go to the separate tab let's clean some of this up and let's just sniff this again and hopefully we'll pick up some activity well, this is going to be a rather boring video of just me finding no signals and nothing to decode i thought this location would be fantastic been really looking forward to driving up here because you can see all down onto this city and stuff but i'm actually getting more i'm receiving more from home in my little radio room on the antenna inside my little radio room Right, at last, okay, we've started to pick up some activity, um, some Vodafone, people using Vodafone here, um, phone activity. So we started to see a little bit coming through now, so that's made me happy. I thought we were going to go away empty handed from here. So we'll let this monitor a little bit. Uh, I've just done some scanning on on four three three point nine two for because you can pick up some really um, fun stuff on four three three nine two zero. It's the um, scientific. It's it's the air. It's a part of the band where you get lots of Internet of Things, well, slightly older Internet of Things, and weather stations and such like. Uh, you can even get um, car tires with the car tire pressure sensors. You can pick up a lot of that. I've just done a scan from here of. That sounds nice. Of four three three. I've picked nothing up yet. I'll scan that again in a minute because can make some interesting watching when you pick up different um, you pick up all sorts of exotic uh, machinery the, the gadgets and weather stations and tire pressure monitors they aren't made for transmitting over distance they're very low power so I probably am too far away from people to actually pick up that sort of activity I'll probably need to do another video where I go stealth where we go into the city a little bit it will be exciting just so that we don't get pulled over by Mr Plod because trying to explain that we are doing we're doing radio surveillance but it's it's okay because we're not doing anything naughty we're just listening I think um there is no activity on this bit so we'll come back to um this particular program another day what we can look at though this is quite exciting one of the programs that i do use quite a lot is sdr angel now if there's if there's just one program that you start off with on this dragon operating system and using command line is a little bit alien is SDR Angel because this is a wonderful toolbox of receivers decoders demodulators uh, the whole works so we'll have a we'll have a play on this we'll do a couple of quite tra traditional things we'll listen to some airplanes and decode some airplanes and then we'll do something else. I don't know what yet. We'll do something. Um, we're going to listen to one o nine o zero zero. That's the ADS 
B frequency. So this is the beacons that the messages that are sent from aeroplanes. This can be quite fun. So in SDR Angel, what we've done here is we've added the, the it's like plugins or modules. So you will add your modules and then you connect them together, and then you can basically build a, a quite a, quite a sophisticated receiving and demodulating and printing and all sorts um, of your signals. So so SDR Angel is a lovely piece of kit. I've had loads of fun with this. Up here, quite high up. No buildings around me, I'm just picking up absolute tons of activity. So, fun. Uh, good afternoon, G4SCY. <clears throat> yeah, G4SCY. Uh, good, good afternoon, I was going to say good morning then. Uh, we've spoken numerous times before, it's Carl here. A little bit on the go. I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't pick up any um, internet of things. I was quite looking forward to that. Oh, crashed on a bike. With this, an SDR, RTL SDR dongle, 20 odd quid, um, and a bit of wire, and a bit of coax, and um, steal your older brother's laptop. That's the answer. Thank you for watching and I look forward to the next video. Bye bye for now.